Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Alana. For this video, I am going to do my February TBR. So I know this is coming kind of late to you all, but I'm just going to blame it on mental health and just being busy at work. But I'm finally getting a chance to sit down and film this, so here we go. For the month of February, I don't actually have a lot planned to read, really. I just picked out a few things that I've either been really wanting to get into or has been on my TBR for a while that I'm like, this needs to get read, yada yada. So, the first, first book I have on this list is actually a new release. It's coming out early February, and that is A Vicious Game, and this is the third book in the A Broken Blade series by Melissa Blair. I'm really looking forward to reading this. I really love this, like, series overall. If you're looking for, like, a good romantic series, I think this is a good one to check out because it has a little bit of everything. Action, romance, intrigue, assassins, all those kinds of things. And I love it so much. Um, but... This one is supposed to pick off from the second book. The second book kind of ended on a like really interesting note. So I'm just really, really looking forward to it. In case you don't know, this is about a like fallen assassin. Like she's an assassin to the king and he's killing all our people. And so she's just kind of like living her life as a drunk. And then one day she encounters a like rival assassin. And she kind of finds her fire again to start really fighting back against the king. And the story goes from there. Um, and it's fey and it's fantasy. Alright, so the next book I have on this list is Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies by Heather Fawcett. So I've heard so many things about this book and I've been really wanting to um, check it out and see what it's about. And I figured now is a good time to try it out, um, especially because it's like winter, it's like barren, so I feel like this is a good uh, world to kind of try to dive in and forget how cold it is outside. I'm really looking forward to this. All I really know is I think it's about this lady who's like, main, like life's research is in fairies and I think she goes somewhere to like observe them or something like that and that's where the story ensues. I kind of want to just keep it to the bare minimum because I feel like going in with like not that much knowledge on what's supposed to happen um, always makes me enjoy the book more so really looking forward to this. So the next book I have on this list is Love in the Time of Serial Killers by Alicia Thompson. Um, I've been I got this book last year and I've been really wanting to read it just because I really like the title and the cover. It's giving like old style Archie vibes um, but also I just think this is going to be like an intriguing kind of humorous book just from this title alone. So I'm just really looking forward to checking this out. This is also gonna be my buzzword pick for the month um, because the month for February is positive words and this has love in the title. So it fits the theme very well for me. And in case you don't know what this is about, so it's about a girl who uh, ends up cleaning, like moving back home to clean out her childhood home for whatever reason. And she kind of suspects that her neighbor is a serial killer because he's just very suspicious. She only sees him at night. It's a whole thing. So again, just from that little bit, it just sounds like it's going to be an interesting time. All right. So the next book I have on this list is Powerless by Lauren Roberts. So I don't really know what this is about. I'm going to be completely honest. I think it may have like something to do, some type of competition. I know it's a romanticy. I know it's very popular. I've seen it either like on Twitter or I've seen some stuff on Book Talk, even though I don't really follow Book Talk like that or anything like that. Just in, sometimes the algorithm will put a random video in front of me. So I wanted to go ahead and check it out because I've been just looking for some new romanticies to try because Guild is ending this year and I need something else to obsess over, essentially. So, we're going to give this a try, see how we feel. Maybe we'll like the series, maybe we won't. We'll see. And then the next book I have on my list, and this one I'm still waiting on from the library, and that is The Wishing Game by Meg Schaefer. I'm waiting on the audiobook, so hopefully it comes through for me in this month, um, because it's really popular. But from what I understand about this book, it is about a lady who is like a teacher or a teacher's aide or something like that. And she has a student that she just becomes very, very attached to. And it turns out he's in the foster system. So she wants to basically 
adopt him but she doesn't have the money to do it so uh there is an author who has this like competition going on or whatever and whoever wins um wins money and so she joins this competition in order to get the money to adopt this boy so i'm really hoping i'll enjoy this this seems like it could be like a cute little sentimental book it gives me like maybe frederick bachman vibes a little bit or something like that so i'm really hoping that i enjoy this next i am going to throw in a manga and that is the apothecary diaries um by who's this by natsu hyuga so um the anime has been out. I've watched a little bit of it and I really enjoyed it and I want to get into the manga as well. So I'm throwing this on my list just to like check out at least volume one and hopefully watch some more of the anime because I'm very behind on all of my anime uh, selections, unfortunately. Um, next I have The Aurora King by Nisha J. Tuli. So this is the second book in the Trial of the Sun Queen. I don't know if this is going to be like a trilogy or a series, but it's the second book. Um, this, I put this on this list because I've been wanting to get to it. It's a sequel, and I really enjoyed the first one for the most part. So I am intrigued to see what this next book brings because the first one, like, gave you more questions and answered more questions if that makes sense so i'm i'm just very very intrigued to see what this story brings to the table because so far it's pretty different besides having like a competition in the first book it's kind of it seems kind of different than most romancy but i'm gonna give it a try and see how i feel about it all right next so um i'm still following through with my fairy loop my one book one fairy loop a month thing going on sometimes if i have an artist to do two i'll do two whatever um but my pick for this month hopefully is what the river knows by isabel Ibana. I I ibanez i think this is beautiful <laughs> and i don't let me look at the synopsis because i had the idea and then i just forgot in the glittering society of 19th century Buenos Aires, Inez Oliveira has everything except the one thing she really wants, her parents, who frequently leave her behind on their globe-trotting adventures. Then she receives a terrible letter. Her parents have passed away in mysterious circumstances. Determined to uncover the truth, she sets sail for their last port of call, Cairo. Bringing only her sketch pads and an ancient ring that her father sent to her for safekeeping. But upon her arrival in Egypt, the ring flares with ancient magic and Inez is thrust into a treacherous game that could threaten her life. And into the path of her new guardian's infuriatingly handsome assistant who seems determined to thwart her at every turn. The mummy meets death on the Nile in this lush historical fantasy set in 19th century Egypt. So... I've never read a story based in 19th century Egypt or based in Egypt at all, so I'm actually intrigued to check this out and see what the vibes are, essentially. So, looking forward to that. Alright, and the last book on my February TBR, and I know I said I kept this kind of short, but now that I'm realizing I might have added a little bit more than I realized. Um, this is kind of like a, if I can finish most things and I'm in the mood, but I do want to pick up the Atlas Paradox, which is the second book in the Atlas 6. This is the nice little fairy dude, fairy loot edition. Got it. I can pick up where the first book left off. Because the, the first book left me very intrigued. I liked it a lot. I thought the characters were really interesting. I thought the storyline was very interesting. I had never really read anything like it. So I'm intrigued to see what the second one brings and what's going to happen next with the characters. Especially because technically there was a death in the first book, so I'm interested to see how these characters move forward. Alright, so those were my February picks. Hopefully I can read a good chunk of these, if not all. And yeah, if you liked the video, please like it down below. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, leave all that in the comment section. And if you're not good at commenting, leave me an emoji down below. Um, leave me an emoji that you just love to use whenever um, you have the chance. And if you want to see more videos from me, please hit that subscribe button. You guys are awesome flowers in the world full of weeds. Thank you.